It's called the Razorback Trail, um, and it's basically uh, the highest run you can take to uh, the top of Mount Feathertop. It starts at a point called Diamantina Hut from uh, Great Alpine Road, um, and it's around 12 and a half, 13 kilometres long, depending on which way and the terrain you take, um, one way. Um, but we normally get to a point uh, near the summit base uh, called Federation Hut, set up our camp there for the night, and basically just take day packs if we're you know, planning on heading up towards the summit. 6.30 in the morning, just warming up with the coffee. And not enough sleep. <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. How you feel? Good. Good. Okay, see if we can get anywhere with this one. It's only a small slope, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, even the guys that we ran into were saying, you know, this is crazy. Yeah. You guys on toboggans, they're, they're saying, we saw tracks and stuff, yeah. and we're thinking, what's yeah. going on here? <laughs> <laughs> And they were even saying, um, we better know, take a photo of these guys because nobody's going to believe us back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just saying, you know, we ran into a couple of guys from Toboggan's up the Razorback, but no one's going to believe us. <laughs> Had that first little hill hit you. I'm a bit worried about the next 50. <laughs> Sweating, hey man. Hey. You sweating after that? Sweating already, yeah. Um, at least it's clear this time. Yeah. You don't tell me what you think about it? Well, I'm trying not to think about that. I'm just, because I can't see down the bottom of it. We're going to hit that where that little rocky ridge is and we're going to launch, man. Yeah. We're going to get out. Yeah, we'll probably we'll get out. Dying and we'll have a broken bone. That will be right. I can see broken toboggans, hopefully not broken bones or nothing. <laughs> Shane, Shane went down first. Where, where you like crashed it, I launched. Yeah, Shane, <laughs> Shane went down first, so he, he's taking off and I'm at the top no, and I'm calling out to Shane, I'm going, Just Shane! And I couldn't get a response from Shane. <laughs> and so I, I got the video camera out and he stayed and, I'm, and I put it to the face and I'm like, oh, no, I haven't heard from Shane. <laughs> Just yet, I'm, and, I, and I'm thinking, I hope he's not knocked out cold. I can't exactly remember what I said on the video, but um, I was waiting for him to pop his head out at the other end, just to know that it was okay for me to actually jump on the toboggan and go for a hell ride. <laughs> and, um, and I didn't see him come out the bottom, I thought, well, I'm, I've got this anyway, I'm going to have a go. Yeah. I'm still waiting to hear from Shane, so I heard him yelling something out, but I hope it wasn't, I broke my arm. There was rocks on that last one. Whew. There's the other snow boot that I had. I'm sure Glenn will be coming down pretty quick. <laughs> oh, he's heading straight for the rocks. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up on the rocks and, yeah. and done a bit of a flip and a head plant. And I was so concerned because I saw how um, intense that little flip that we did was. I shouldn't say little because it was actually quite big. <laughs> Your legs went up and everything just did a complete somersault. Yeah. But I thought to myself when I was shooting it, I don't even know if I've got it just in time because I was just like, oh, did that happen? So you might have gone out of frame just a little bit. Yeah. But I remember saying to myself, I so want to laugh right now, but I know there's rocks and you just head planted into it. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, am I going to go up and there's like, a big split in the top <laughs> of his head. <laughs> no, that was no. awesome, buddy. Well, that, that was a good point of the toboggans and stuff. But there was other points where um, we're actually walking on the actual ridge top, where it's just nothing on the left-hand side, nothing. Oh, this valley on yeah. the left-hand side, and there's this valley on the right. And if you go either way, you're not going to stop until you get the bottom either way. There's a few <laughs> points like that. Um, even the guys that we ran into were saying, you know, that's just crazy. Make sure you're fully equipped, you know how to lay your clothes, plenty of water, um, heaps of food, 
heaps of food rations. We kind of forgot our food. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, we didn't, we didn't expect we'd need that much energy, yeah. but we did. <laughs> That's it. Camp That's for it. the night. Set up. Then head back up that one over here. What's up? Tomorrow. Shane attempting to get some water out of a frozen tank. Seems we haven't had any water since last night. Yeah, <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> that should just start flowing now. That'll that'll be good. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the gas just hit a bit of frozen gas there, Shane. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because the flame comes straight for me. <laughs> the actual um, summit. Yeah. Like, like walking up the summit, it was it was it was uncomfortable and it and it was real shaky. Like um, it was just ice. It was just ice. Yeah, we sort of had to. You know, you're just jabbing in every foot, yeah. jab, jab Every it step there. had to be deliberate. Like, yeah. we got out and we could only maintain three points of contact. So you got um, pole in one hand, there's one, and then the other yeah. one, and then one foot, you stab that in, and then the other one, and then you begin the whole process again. Yeah. That was a whole summit bid. You, you could enjoy it, you, like it was It was crazy. When, when you were up there, it was, it was awesome being up there. Mm. Um, you know, we sort got, of. No, well, it was. it was. It was pretty crazy being up there, but you could enjoy it once you got back down and go, yeah, we just got up there, and it was an amazing feeling once you got back down. While we were up there, it was, it was really unsettling. We couldn't appreciate what we'd done when we were up there, just because of how precarious it was. I'm nervous, man. I don't even want to be up here. I like the summer run being up here. Nice. Look at that. Just have a look at that. That's why I don't feel comfortable at all. Still watching this thing. Stop looking at it. Just went a bit rolls down there, you know? Nah. That's what he's talking about. Who do not want to go down there? I think when we got back to the safety of flat, dry land, that we're just like, we actually did that, eh? Yeah. That was that was something else. Yeah, that's it's cool. that's just completely unnatural environment. You ready for the journey home, brother? You ready for this? I'm feeling good. I am. I'm feeling amped now. I'm feeling amped. We're on our way home. We uh, got done what we wanted to get done. Now let's just get the hell out. Let's get out of here. We better leave in daylight. We're going to get home at night. That's the sun. Not far to go. Well, we're about, how far you say, about two k's down the bungalow. Yeah, about two k's in the moment. Two k's down the bungalow, two, spur. three. We'll pass the eight kilometer mark. Yeah, eight k's to go. Yeah, we got, well, it's probably got an 11 kilometer run, wasn't it? Yeah, roughly. Maybe three k's down. Yeah. It looks beautiful down here. It's just amazing. You can see where the bushfires have come through and there's just burned trees that are just down everywhere. But with the snow sitting on top of them, it just looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. A few slips. Yeah, a couple. There's, apps, there's a few holes. I think behind logs when you're walking. You had to fall over and stuff. But I mean, some of the things you can see, you, you don't see this stuff sitting at home on your couch. You cross people who are doing the same thing on the way, mm. and that's always good. It puts a fresh spin on things as well. It does. There's, there's one point there where we'll. We sort of kneeled down in the snow and leaned over with our packs on our backs trying to take the weight off us because we, we did have fairly heavy packs. And, then, and we sort of went into this funny laughing fit over nothing. Yeah. And it was just, I think we were just exhausted. And then out of nowhere, one of these 
lads come up with his skis and he's like, hey! <laughs> and it's like, just seeing a bit of reality again yeah. was like, oh, because we started losing them a little yeah. bit, mate. But I think just from the cold and being out there, and, yeah. and you're constantly walking, mm. you know. Um, a little bit of cabin fever. There's too much light. Yeah, there's just snow. <laughs> It's not a common thing to go up the Razorback with a toboggan. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> That's probably why. Yeah, so we, so we found out. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was definitely it was a fantastic adventure. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do it again. I'll uh, say that now, man. There's only, no only way. Cause, yeah, only, like, we just went fit enough, you know, like, I don't know. I think we were, um, but it was probably just a bit too crazy. Well, once you've done it once, you you won't go back and do it again because no, you've done it. I it's mean, a experience, list thing, yeah, yeah. But the experience was it was fantastic. Yeah.